welcome to our English news coming to you from Canal Algerie to the headlines. While inaugurating the Algiers International Fair, the President of the Republic stresses the necessity to promote the national production and partnership. Graduation military ceremonies are held across the country, a new impetus to the People's National Army. And the national football team draws with the Tunisian side in a friendly game held in Annaba Stadium. Welcome back. First in our news, the President of the Republic, Abdel Majid Tabun, officially inaugurated the 54th edition of the Algiers International Fair, attended by several countries, including Italy, the guest of honor. The head of state stressed the necessity to promote the national production and partnership. Melissa Kebesh with more details. The president was received by Prime Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman, the Army General Saeed Shangriha, Chief of Staff of the People's National Army, Trade Minister Tayyip Zitouni, the Governor of Algiers Province, Mohamed Abdenur Rabhi, and the Acting General Manager of the Suffix. The president hailed the members of the government and representatives of the diplomatic corps accredited to Algeria present during the opening ceremony of this important economic event. The president of the republic visited the different stands and listened to presentations carried out by the enterprises taking part in this event. He then proceeded to issuing a number of guidelines and directives stressing the necessity to promote the national production and consolidate partnership. Accompanied by Prime Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman and members of the government, the president visited the Italian pavilion, guest of honor of this edition, as well as the pavilions of military industry and national defense ministry, which was represented by 19 companies active in the military mechanic industry, that of textile and naval constructions. <laughs> President Tabun affirmed that the military production of our country became a source of pride, thanking God for what our people's national army achieved and reached so far. He also called for making partnerships and shipbuilding with Italian and Russian investors. <laughs> and grant more importance to the field of major facilities. The president emphasized the necessity to rely on national leading enterprises. He then followed a presentation related to the manufacturing of weapons and praised the achievement of the military production, including the manufacturing of a Kalashnikov gun. The military pavilion reflected the strategic role played by the military industry in developing the national economy. The president was indeed interested in the production capacity and the development witnessed by the military industry alongside its perspectives, objectives and contribution in the relaunch of the national economy. During his visit to the stand of MS companies specialized in the production of motorcycles, the president praised the level of professionalism achieved by this company. In the Italian pavilion, the president expressed his joy when it comes to the economic cooperation established between our country and this edition's guest of honor. He also affirmed to the Italian economic operators the readiness of the state to remove obstacles and difficulties to speed up the pace of providing Italian cars in the Algerian market. Regarding startups, the president called on Algerian startups to sign partnership agreements 
months with African startups to promote and commercialize their projects and ideas. He also affirmed that the state will provide all means to young project managers to concretize and establish their projects. Moving on to the Economic Renewal Council's pavilion, where the president praised the agricultural competences of the Big South, especially the production of sugar beet. The president also affirmed the importance of the National Agency of Investment Promotion in accompanying investors from the beginning until the launching of their projects. This edition will be marked by the launching of a digital Algerian fair to present the main five strategic sectors that Algeria relies on to achieve economic takeoff outside hydrocarbons. Military graduation ceremonies are being held across the national territory after the end of the academic year and the training session, a new and real boost to the People's National Army. Najah Tayyar gives us the highlights of this major military event. The graduation ceremony of the 29th promotion of cadets from the Shahid Rahali Musa School of Aeronautical Techniques in Dar al-Bida began with the supervision of the groups by the commander of the Air Forces, Major General Mahmoud Laraba. On this occasion, the acting commander of the Higher School of Aeronautical Techniques delivered a speech that highlighted the interest given by the High Command of the Army to teaching and training. After that, the graduates took the oath, the ranks and certificates were handed to the laureates. Subsequently, the graduated class handed over the national flag to the next one. Then the graduated group got named after the martyr Aftosh Mohammed after the general major commander of the Air Force's approval. The ceremony was punctuated by a brilliant military parade. In this context, the commander of the Air Forces inquired about the laureate's graduation project in the company of the hosts of the school before honoring the family of Shahid Aftosh Mohammed. At the end of the ceremony, the Air Forces commander signed the school's guest book. Similar celebration atmosphere prevailed at the high school of the National Gendarmerie of Zer al Shahid Muwaz Mohammed, was presided by the commander of the National Gendarmerie General Yahya Ali Al Hajj. It began with a salute of the national flag and the inspection of the graduating groups. The school commander called on these groups to integrate into the professional environment to achieve the assigned objectives. After taking the oath, diplomas were given to the laureates as well as ranks to the top graduates. This was followed by the handover of the national flag from the graduated class to the next one. And after the approval of the commander of the National Gendarmerie, this class was named after the late war veteran Farhat Hamida Tayyib. The ceremony was marked by an exhibition of bikers performed by the students of the school, and the graduates performed a military parade. Later on, the family of the later veteran Farhat Hamida Tayyib's family was honored, and the commander of the National Gendarmerie signed the guest book. Same ambience prevailed in Shahid Baji Mukhtar, the National Preparatory School of Engineering Studies in Riba. The ceremony was chaired by the head of the Employment Department preparations of the People's National Army, Major General Hasnat Bilqasim. After the supervision of the various groups and in a speech delivered on this occasion, the director general of the school reviewed the main points of the training and the scientific and military knowledge that the students received with the best programs and educational means. The new graduates then took the oath before receiving their certificates and being named after the martyr Khalfi Saeed, followed by the handover of the national flag to the next graduating class. The ceremony included a military parade performed by the graduates, an exhibition that reflects the good organization and the quality coordination. And on the sidelines of the celebration, Major General Hasnat Bilqasim, head of the Employment Preparation Department of the People's National Army, supervised a scientific exhibition at the level of the school's library, animated by the graduating student, before honoring the martyrs whose name is borne by the graduated class and signing the school's guest book. 
Prime Minister Ayman bin Abdurrahman received the Italian Minister of Enterprises and Made in Italy, Adolfo Orso, now on a visit to Algeria. The meeting attended by the Trade Minister Tayyip Zitouni was a good opportunity to review partnership and cooperation achieved so far by the two countries. Representing the President of the Republic, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the National Community Abroad embarked on a European tour. Ahmed Attaf was received by the President of the Italian Parliament, Lorenzo Fantana. The two parties discussed bilateral cooperation and the qualitative progress being made in Algerian-Italian relations in various sectors. The two parties reviewed coordination between the two countries for peace and stability in the Mediterranean basin and ways of boosting development and progress in the field. The Minister of Foreign Affairs held as well a working session with the Vice President of the Italian Council of Ministers, Minister for, for Foreign Affairs Antonio Tajani. The discussions, was the discussions focused on assessing the implementation of the decisions taken during the meeting and visits paid by the two countries' leaders at the highest level. In the Algerian-Egyptian cooperation, a memorandum of understanding was signed by Karim Bibi Triki, Minister of Post and Telecommunications, and his Egyptian counterpart, Amro Samih Talat, in the field of communications, technologies, information and post. The agreement was signed on the occasion of the visit to Cairo by the post minister during which he outlined the mechanisms for consolidating cooperation and exchanging experience between the two countries, as well as Algeria's interest in young people and investment in the new technology sector. The Algerian Airlines company Air Algérie signed in Paris a memorandum of understanding to buy cargo Boeing aircrafts to meet its increasing needs in addition to another request pertaining to buying eight aircrafts. The National Maritime Company indicated in a communique the resumption of the maritime line linking Oran to Alicante starting from today. This decision is meant to ensure the success of the summer season and to meet the community's needs, notably those established in Spain. Huge demonstrations were held on Tuesday in several Moroccan cities. Moroccans denounced the skyrocketing rise in prices and corruption in the country. Pressure and violations of rights and freedoms were also chanted during the symbolic date, recalling the 1981 riots. Abroad, demonstrations were organized in front of the headquarters of the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva to call for releasing all Sahrawi prisoners unjustly detained in the Moroccan jails. The protest was attended by international political figures and human rights activists, former Sahrawi detainees and dozens of members of the Sahrawi community living in Europe. The World Refugee Day, coinciding with the June 20th, in, is celebrated across the globe, an opportunity to put forward the Moroccan exactions against the Sahrawi refugees who remain determined to snatch their legitimate right to self-determination and independence backed by several countries since it is a fair cause and the last colony in the African continent. The national football team drew with one all with the Tunisian side in the friendly game held in Annaba Stadium. Algeria's goal was scored by Riyad Mahrez. Latest news, the President of the Republic terminated the duties of the Communication Minister, Mohamed Bouslimani. That was it for today. Thank you for joining us. Good night.